Now let's take a look at a reaction known as the Wolff rearrangement. Now this reaction contains two possible reaction mechanisms and we're going to discuss both of these reaction mechanisms in this lecture. Now before we actually discuss the reaction mechanisms, let's discuss how to form the molecule known as diazoketone that will act as the reactant in the Wolff rearrangement. So to actually form this molecule, we have to mix an acid chloride with a molecule called diazomethane. So this is our acid chloride, which contains the carbonyl group, the R hydrocarbon group, as well as this chloride atom that will serve as a good leaving group in the second step of this reaction. Now we also have the resin stabilized diazomethane which contains a lone pair of electrons on the carbon on one of these structures. So basically our diazomethane will act as a good nuclear file creating a bond between this carbon and this carbon attacking this carbon displacing the pi bond and placing it onto this oxygen so we form a tetrahedral intermediate that contains a negative charge on this oxygen so we have this central carbon we have this carbon carbon bond that is formed and this is our molecule the chloride that will act as a good leaving group. So in step three, we have the pi bond reformed between the oxygen and the carbon, kicking off the good leaving group, our chloride atom, forming this molecule. Now this molecule contains an acidic alpha hydrogen, and this strong base, the chloride atom, will deprotonate this alpha hydrogen forming this resin stabilized intermediate known as our diazoketone. So we have this ketone group and we have resin stabilization between this carbon and this nitrogen. So the charge is delocalized between these two atoms here. Now the following reaction can basically take place. If we take our diazoketone and place it either in the presence of heat or light, we have a rearrangement taking place in which the diazoketone forms into a ketocarbene. Basically, in the presence of heat, this relatively weak bond between the carbon and nitrogen breaks off and we form our diatomic nitrogen gas and we form this ketocarbene which contains the lone pair of electrons on this carbon. Now ketocarbenes generally act as Lewis bases but another reaction can take place in which the ketocarbene undergoes an intramolecular reaction that is known as the Wolfman rearrangement. Now, the less direct reaction mechanism of the Wolfman rearrangement basically is shown in the following diagram. So we have the ketocarbene and via a single concerted mechanism, these electrons form a pi bond between the carbon and carbon, kicking off this R group along with these two electrons and this hydrocarbon R group migrates and forms a bond with this carbon. And we basically form the following product, our ketene, or ketene. So we have a double bond between carbon and oxygen, and a double bond between this carbon and this carbon. So this is one potential reaction mechanism for the Wolff rearrangement, in which we begin with the ketocarbene, and we form our ketene. Now notice, to actually form the ketocarbene, we have to follow all of the, uh, this reaction mechanism to form our diazoketone and then the diazoketone transforms into our ketocarbene. Now another possible reaction mechanism for the Wolfman rearrangement exists that is the more direct mechanism. In this mechanism we begin with the diazoketone or diazoketone and this diazoketone is transformed directly into our ketene. 
So basically what happens is these two electrons on our carbon of this diazoketine uh, form a pi bond between this carbon and this carbon. This basically is displaced and migrates onto this carbon forming a bond between this carbon of the R and this carbon and that kicks off this weak bond between carbon and nitrogen and this bond breaks off forming our diatonic nitrogen and our ketene. So basically we have two different reaction mechanisms for the Wolf rearrangement. Now the question is which one is the correct reaction mechanism and the answer is we still do not know. We basically still did not determine which one of these reaction mechanisms is the correct reaction mechanism. It's possible of course that both of these reaction mechanisms are correct and both of these pathways can be followed to form our final product, the ketene. Now in one of these reaction mechanisms, we begin with the ketocarbene and we form the ketene. In the other, more direct reaction mechanism, we begin with our diazoketone and we form our ketene. But in both reaction mechanisms, we actually have to mix acid chloride with diazomethane so that we produce this molecule in the first place, only then can the wolf rearrangement actually take place.